NCIS, New Orleans, Wikipedia article audio. NCIS, New Orleans is an American television series combining elements of the military drama and police procedural genres that premiered on Tuesday, September 23, 2014, following its parent series NCIS. The pilot was written by Gary Glassberg. The series stars Scott Bakula and CCH Pounder, and is executive produced by Glassberg, Mark Harmon, Brad Kern, James Heyman, and Chris Silber. The series is set and filmed in New Orleans. It is the third series of the NCIS franchise. Premise Cast and Characters Production Casting Controversy Syndication Series Overview International Broadcast Reception Seasonal Ratings Critical Reception Awards and Nominations Notes on January 12, 2015, NCIS, New Orleans was renewed for a second season that premiered on September 22, 2015. On March 25, 2016, CBS renewed the series for a third season, which premiered on September 20, 2016. On March 23, 2017, CBS renewed the series for a fourth season, which premiered on September 26, 2017. NCIS, New Orleans follows a fictional team of Naval Criminal Investigative Service agents stationed out of New Orleans, Louisiana, and led by Special Agent Dwayne Cassius Pride. The team focuses on crimes that involve personnel in the United States Navy and Marine Corps, and their territory ranges from the Mississippi River to the Texas Panhandle. The agents under Pride's supervision include Christopher LaSalle, a former Jefferson Parish Sheriff's deputy recruited by Pride following Hurricane Katrina, Meredith Brody, a transfer from the NCIS Great Lakes Field Office, who has worked as a special agent afloat and is keen to leave her past behind as she moves to New Orleans, Sonia Percy, a former ATF special agent and LaSalle's partner, Tammy Gregorio, an FBI prodigy recruited after a short stint investigating Pride, and Sebastian Lund, a criminalist turned forensics agent and the team's newest member. They are assisted by Patton Plame, a computer specialist, and Dr. Loretta Wade, a forensic pathologist. Scott Bakula was cast as the series' lead on February 2014 with CCH Pounder, Zoe McClellan, and Lucas Black joining soon thereafter. Rob Kirkovich joined the cast in July. He was the final original cast member to join the series though Daryl Mitchell and Chalita Grant joined the series as regulars during Season 2. Both had recurred previously. In July 2016 Zoe McClellan, who plays Special Agent Meredith Brody, left the series for creative reasons, and Vanessa Ferlito joined the cast as FBI Special Agent Tammy Gregorio, a series regular. On February 2, 2018, it was announced that Chalita Grant would leave the series in the 17th episode of Season 4. Brad Kern became the series' showrunner in January 2016. Within a year he had become the focus of two separate investigations for inappropriate behavior towards women. On December 2017, TNT acquired the rerun rights to the series. NCIS, New Orleans airs simultaneously on Global in Canada. In Australia, 
the series premiered on Network 10 on October 7, 2014. The series has been sold to Channel 5 in the United Kingdom, which premiered it on February 13, 2015. The series has also been sold to Prime in New Zealand and Fox International Channels in Asia. On April 2, 2015, the series began airing on South Africa SM Net Cable TV service and is broadcast to several other sub-Saharan African nations via DSTV. NCIS, New Orleans has received mixed reviews from critics. Review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes gives the first season of the show a rating of 65%, based on 26 reviews, with an average rating of 5.4-10. The site's consensus reads, with a solid cast in a beautiful locale, NCIS, New Orleans makes extending this well-worn franchise look like the Big Easy. Metacritic gives the show a score of 55 out of 100, based on 15 critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. In late September 2014, the rap s journalist Jason Hughes reviewed the pilot episode of the series, praising the music, the use of the city of New Orleans and CBS decision to cast Scott Bakula as one of the most likable leading men in television, so they're set there. David Hinckley of the New York Daily News gave a mixed but critical review of the pilot episode, saying there is a Crescent City flavor here. But in the larger picture, not much on this menu is unfamiliar. Liz Shannon Miller and Ben Traverse of IndieWire said that NCIS is like the obelisk in 2001, a space odyssey, it's an awe-inspiring, inescapable presence in the broadcast lineup. NCIS on CBS, it is here. It has always been here. It forever will be.